Hello, Salvo Nani, and welcome back to my channel for another video. This one is a little bit different. We're having like a bit of a girly chat. It's girl talk, it's woman talk, and it is a topic that I don't see a lot of people talking about. But I think it's actually really, really important, especially for women that have had a baby and have gone through like quite a lot of change. So it's basically about the S word. So sex after a baby. Um, body image and confidence for me it's one of those things where I'd have been really encouraged by seeing videos from other mums that were like giving advice to to be confident to be yourself and to embrace the journey that you've gone on I think what's really triggered this video in particular is of late I felt a lot of pressure to develop my body we spend so much time on our phones and we're on Instagram and we see people that are like body goals and people that snap back and mums that are in bikinis with like toddlers on the beach and the celebrity culture that we see but actually we don't realise how harmful that is for our own personal well-being. I've become like a little bit obsessive. I talk about my desire to lose weight, my desire to have a certain type of body but I haven't actually started working out or anything or changing my eating habits and I did actually sign up to a gym <clears throat> For like the first year of Riley's life, I went a handful of times with my friend and that's just because actually it's like I was wanting something just so that I could like look a certain way but not that it was going to enhance how I actually felt about myself because I don't normally do videos that are as candid but I just wanted to have a chat and I think I'm going to do it a bit more because there's lots of topics that I, I think about and I'm like ugh why aren't people talking about it and maybe there are more videos now but I'm two years into this I'm you know two years postpartum my toddler is now um talking getting ready for potty training all that type of stuff sex after a baby is <laughs> probably for me the most insane pressure I ever felt because I was so scared so my partner my friend has known me as one thing and now I felt like I was I was presenting something totally different so like the confidence that I had with him was a little bit different I wasn't so sure of myself of my body I wasn't so sure of how it was going to feel for him for both of us I think there was an element of fear as well like as a guy you're probably thinking you're going to hurt your wife and then as well you're probably going to be a little bit put off because you've seen the process so for me I had a natural birth and my husband was very much part of it and very much there and saw everything so I think that would have kind of tainted like his his sort of like interest in that area of me because he's seen it you know different and we've since had conversations about it and we're having conversations about it and our child's now a toddler and he's like it is a weird thing you know seeing <laughs> your wife's body be basically ripped apart to bring a human into the world is beautiful in one sense but also so scary in another that that first time post baby was really um a scary thing when really it should have been beautiful we should have been sort of rekindling the passion we had for each other and as much as it, it was nice i think i spent so much time second guessing myself and how to present myself like guys oh, i went shopping and I was like trying to find little outfits that would then hide certain parts and accentuate this and do that and do the third and the lighting had to be a certain way we had to have this type of thing or that type of thing and really before that I was just confident in in being myself with my friends so I think for me it's taken me a little while to get back into the swing like swing of things and for any new mum that might be watching or might come across this at some point I just want to say that my husband has since said something so beautiful to me he said that your body and the change that's happened because you've brought our child into the world is beautiful to me you know things like stretch marks that I worry about he says to me that's that's like the nine months that I saw you develop that process those those marks that are there now show the journey and if anything it reminds me to value you even more which I thought was just really really sweet he's not like Mr like <laughs> chat a lot or like Mr like sweet one-liners but I felt like that was really really nice of him to say that and it made me feel better so now I'm looking at body confidence and like body positivity and really when you look around us and we we're reading things and seeing things no one is actually being truthful about the process of motherhood and pregnancy and it's nice for the Tiana Taylors 
um, that spring back and you know it's not even like an attack on her but she works for her body the Sierras that work for their bodies and stuff that is great but that's not everyone's side of motherhood you know I, I've got friends who've gone it's taken me two years to feel confident wearing certain things the other night we recently had a date night I wore a bodycon for the first time in two years two years and that's just because I was like this is my bubble gut. <laughs> I'm gonna own my bubble gut. My bubble gut has a story. I have an amazing son because I was able to carry him for nine months and a week and he's gorgeous and do you know what? What's a bubble gut or whatever people call it, food part here and there when you know how you got it and what you've got out of that. So I feel like I'm starting to take ownership of my body and start to feel sexy again and my husband's noticing it he's loving it and you know it's like m my package I'm starting to feel like yeah this is me again and one thing that I think I've always been quite consistent with that's made me feel good is this part of me and you guys probably don't see the rest of my body which I'll probably start doing more vlog style videos <laughs> Um, actually I don't think I have a bad body I'm like 12, 14 wavering it's just my tummy, everything goes to my tummy and I'm so self conscious about it I just feel like a lot of clothes are catered to like that area and so it's always made me self conscious last but not least is really just like that happiness and finding that perfection in yourself I just want to encourage people that we're all beautiful especially when you've gone through the motherhood journey you've gone through pregnancy just embrace and love your body but yeah I just thought I wanted to share and just say you know what we see on Instagram and what is advertised isn't the be all and end all like we need to just have more self love yeah I hope you guys enjoy my sharing um, I'm looking forward to doing a few more videos like this and if you can see the subscribe button and it's red you haven't subscribed so definitely make sure you click on that and I hope I'll see you guys on another video take care thanks so much for watching bye